YouTube, welcome back to another video. Man, it's been a minute, wow. I think the last video I posted was almost three months ago. Anyway, this video is it's an exciting one for me, to be honest, I'm coming back, and I just feel like I owe you guys an explanation of why I haven't been doing some videos. So pretty much, as you guys all know, uh, if you follow my Instagram page, about four weeks ago, I was cleared to go back to activity. And you might be wondering, well, what's the full story? And I can give you that full story in a short minute. Maybe, if we can make it quick here. So, we go back to April 26th. I'm just coming off a weekend of rest because my chest was feeling really sore. Just felt like I was having a heart attack, like 24 seven, it was crazy. Insane pain, and so I just had a weekend back at home, seeing if the pain would go away. It didn't, Monday, I went back in. We had open gym that day, and I went in, did open gym, did lifting, and then that Monday night was the worst pain imaginable went into the ER, they pretty much took a bunch of blood samples and put me in a bed and they're like, we're gonna keep you overnight, we just gotta monitor you. And they pretty much diagnosed me the next morning with myocarditis, possible pericarditis. For those of you who don't know, myocarditis is when your heart muscle gets enlarged and that's usually due to a virus of some sort. Uh, not gonna bring conspiracy theories into this, but I think it was the COVID booster, but we're not gonna go that deep. And a um, and little bit of pericarditis, which is the sac around the heart that keeps it from sticking to the outside layers of your organs when it beats every time. So yeah, that's where the pain was coming from. They pretty much said it takes about two weeks, two to three weeks for you to recover from this. I'm like, all right, sweet, I can do two to three weeks. No big deal. Two to three weeks comes around and I'm still feeling awful, don't feel great. Feel better than what I was in the night in the hospital, but don't feel great. And at this time, I'm getting ready to go back home to Australia. They're like, well, seek medical attention there and get some MRIs done and whatnot. And so we do that, get everything set up with the doctors and they pretty much say, here's a bunch of meds, take this, should make you feel better. Honestly, it took about five months until I come back out here to America for uh, basketball. Still got some pain and going get an MRI done. I think you guys saw my Instagram story. If you didn't see that, pretty much I went in and got an MRI, uh, almost fainted, and uh, they pretty much said that I don't have myocarditis anymore and that I'm all good, cleared to go. And that was the happiest day I've had in six and a half months because I tell you in six and a half months I did nothing other than those two videos where I was actually doing stuff I was laying on the couch mild walks with my dog maybe and yeah just sitting on the couch doing nothing pretty much for six and a half months playing video games you know kind of I lost a lot of weight I was 180 when I went into the hospital that day and the lowest I got was about month and a half ago, I got down to 162 and I still feel small. I'm back up to 170 now. So I've had about four weeks, five weeks, I think. I think it's been five weeks since I've been cleared. And I've had five weeks of going back to the gym, kind of getting back into things. I'll tell you what though, I'm so out of shape. It's not even funny, but yeah, this video, I'm just going to go through five things that I've learned during 2022. Let's hop right into the video, shall we? We got a pretty big day ahead of us, so I'm not gonna try and take too much time, but I will be talking a lot during this video. But I think it's for the best. I uh, hope you guys learned something out of it. But number one, we're gonna hop right into it. Number one, the first lesson I learned during my time of being out for six months and just throughout the whole 2022, do not take things for granted. You know, you guys probably hear this every day. Every couple days, someone tells you, you know, don't take that stuff for granted. Well, let's be honest, you probably think about it like, yeah, I don't ta I'm not taking that for granted. Like, you know, you tell yourself that and then the next day, maybe the same thing happens and you're not taking that for granted. You know, for me and my process this year, basketball, lifting, just hanging out with friends, you know, taking that, I was taking that for granted. It was insane. Like I'd show up, that stuff is special. Like playing basketball at a college level, not a lot of people get to do that. 
lifting at a gym for free at college, not a lot of people get that. And you know, I was taking that for granted. Friends, good friend group, enjoying the moment with that group of friends, taking that for granted. You know, something be, can be taken from you in a, in a snap. And next, you wait, you go to sleep, the next day it's gone, you know? Uh, I found that out pretty, uh, pretty harshly uh, this year. So I would say number one, if you're gonna take anything away from this video, if you don't keep watching, is don't take things for granted. Moving on, we got, we got a big day. I'll tell you what we got. We're going, going to the gym, getting some shots up. Second time in seven months that I've touched a basketball, pretty much. So we'll see how that goes. Got some plyometric work, lifting. I'll take you guys along for the ride. I'll see you for number two. Oh, so cold, so cold. All right, heading to the gym now. Uh, before we do that though, before I drive off, I need to let this car heat up. It's freezing in here. And talk about my next lesson learned during 2022. So number two is letting people into your life. You might be wondering, well, what does that mean? It means exactly what I said. Let people in, mainly like, somebody that you're close with already like that you're comfortable with and just letting them into your life and uh telling them everything you're going through pretty much um it can be for example it can be your parents that's an easy one it can be someone you're in your relationship with uh you should be pretty open with them already but some people aren't so why not open up there your siblings i feel like siblings is a very underrated one friends of course maybe a pastor or somebody at your church maybe if you go to church or something like that um just find people it feels great to just let your emotions out even if you're by yourself but definitely let them out in front of other people uh it doesn't have to be crying for example you can be angry frustrated um happy like literally any any emotion just let it let it out let people into your life let them know what you're going through good or bad doesn't matter and just be vulnerable really vulnerable is that how you say it? Vulnerable? Vulnerable? I think it's the second one. Vulnerable. Gotta be vulnerable. Just talk about anything because if you're not vulnerable, you're not letting things out of your head. Like for me, I know I have like a mental war inside my head. Uh, especially for guys, I feel like a lot of guys do this. And um, just like going to war with your thoughts in your head, you get nowhere. You get absolutely nowhere. It really helps talking to people and letting go of that war inside your head you can kind of talk it out you can even do that by yourself if you really want but i really highly recommend saying it out loud either to yourself but definitely to other people it's always good to just have someone to reach out to i think that's the key takeaway here so that was number two heading to the gym now i don't know if i'm gonna lift first or shoot i think i might lift so yeah let's get it All right, that is workout complete, but it's not done yet. We got my plyometric circuit that we're gonna run right quick. I did this at least two or three times a week before my heart stuff, heart issues. Works like a charm, I'm trying to get my balance back, so that's why we're doing it. Let's get into it. So 
So I've been shooting now for about 15 minutes, 20 minutes probably. And I am out of breath. I'm not even doing any drills either. I'm just like, <sighs> oh, just getting a feel for my shot, really just jacking up random ones, but good ones, of course, they're going in. So I'm gonna film now for a little bit and see what happens. too tired. Couple more, couple more shots. One more three, and it dunk, and it's over. We're done. It's over. Oh, all right. That was a good session. That's the best I've felt after a lifting and shooting session. Well, mind you, it's the only time I've lifted and then shoot it, shoot it, shot. Lifted and shot. It's like the second time I did like last week once, but this is the best I've felt. I don't know if you could tell, I was like dead tired towards the end, but yeah, so that's, Exciting, it's, it's exciting trying to get back into shape, I tell you. It's not the most fun, as I'm slipping on ice. Look how sketchy these, look how sketchy these stairs are I'm trying to go down right here. Look at that. Ice, 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 ice. And look at my shoes. There's no grip on them. Imagine trying to walk around Minnesota in those shoes. Especially in the winter, not fun. Leads me to my third lesson that I've learned. And I believe, I wrote all this down on my phone. 
so I didn't forget it. Um, third lesson is being present. I just swapped this now. I actually have it as number four on my phone, but I'm gonna put it as three. Lesson number three, be present. It kind of goes hand in hand with, um, you know, not taking things for granted, but taking things for granted is like not, um, what's the word, appreciating? Uh, yeah, I would say it's like not appreciating things like when you have them, if that makes sense. Where being present is like taking in the moment or what's around you and just like knowing where you are. Because some, some days you like go out and you're like, you have no clue where you are or like you're not really paying attention to what's going on around you and your surroundings. So yeah, that's more being present. And I don't think there's enough of that in the world today. I think that you're going so fast today and today in, in this world that you don't get time to slow down for a couple minutes and just be fully present in what you're doing. Like that can be anywhere. Like you just now, like me shooting or just before like me shooting, um, just like knowing what you're doing, um, if that makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense. Being able to comprehend what you're doing in the moment and just having fun within that moment or just like appreciating the moment. And yeah, I just, the, it's, the world is so sped up. I think to really be present, just take five minutes out of your day, wherever you are, I don't care what you're doing, five minutes, you drop everything and just sit there for five minutes and just be in your thoughts, be present, look around, um, yeah. With my journey, I think that what happened to me was on purpose. I'll get into that in point number five, but I think it happened to me so I can be more present and slow down. And trust me, I really did. I slew, slow, slow, slew. I feel like I'm more using slowed way too much. Is there a synonym for slowed? Slew? Uh, just having fun in the moment, um, having fun with the camera, you guys, just being present. Um, <laughs> slew down, yeah, we're gonna say slew down. <laughs> no, we're not. My situation made me slow down a lot more and just and just be present. So I encourage you guys to do the same. Take five minutes. It doesn't have to be long. Five minutes. If you can't do five, do two. I don't care. If you can't do two, do one. One minute, just being present and with where you are. Really highly encourage it. This video is getting a little too long now, so I gotta hurry it up. But um, I forgot I have finals this week. I have a final in an hour and a half, so I gotta have lunch, go to my test. So I will probably give you guys point number four just before my final. Keep the day rolling, stay here, and we're gonna keep having some fun, all right? Let's go. So I just finished my first final of the week. Anyway. I'm doing a lot of videoing in my car, I've noticed, but whatever. Uh, this leads me to point number, what are we at now, four? Number four, all right guys, listen up. Point number four is small friend groups over masses of fake people. You, that's right, you heard me. There's no need for too many friends. You don't need that many people. I would say like 10, 10 max. I've never been one to have a bunch of friends, or I, I guess I do have a bunch of friends, but like in that inner circle, you know, in that inner circle, uh, like 10. 10 people you can reach out to at any time and you know that they're gonna give you your attention and they'll listen and respond. Fake people where you think that they are your friend and uh, but then they don't respond to you or they don't really care, if that makes sense. Definitely choose your friends wisely and also like there's a bunch of different reasons and like studies that have shown that smaller friend groups are way more beneficial than having a bunch of fake friends. Reasons why you should have smaller inner circles. Number one, fewer people equals less drama. It's kind of self-explanatory. If you got more people, words can get thrown around that don't really make sense or like aren't really applicable to you or just they cause a lot of drama. Like some people are just drama seekers and for no reason they'll just make up some random stuff about you or other people just for the drama. It's crazy. Two, like I already mentioned, number two in the studies show that if you have a few close friends, you can count on them to have your pack. It's just like, if they, if you have their pack, they'll most likely have yours if they're a good friend. If not, get rid of them. Like, why? Why would you have them as a friend if they don't got your back when you do? And 
Number three is your time. Guys, there's not a lot of time in this world. Well, there is, if you think about it. If you use it wisely, you don't want people to waste your time, right? Like, I got stuff I need to do. I'm not gonna, like, try and make friends with someone that doesn't care. If they're a nice person, sure, I'll spend some time, get to know them. But at the end of the day, if they don't care, I'm walking away. If you care about me, I'll care about you. I feel like that's the approach people gotta take. And like people that care, they're like your true friends. If they're there for you, perfect. Uh, you can count on them to be there for you and um, be there for you no matter what. And I think the last thing I gotta say on this point is like stop chasing fake people, fake friends. Uh, just stick to your inner 10 really close friends. They don't have to be all in the same group But like close to you, you know, you like you don't have to, they don't all have to hang out But as long as they're close with you, that's the key um, So yeah, that's number four gone. It's already dark out dude. It's 520. It's 520 It's 5 freaking 20 520 at night and it's pretty much pitch black. Yeah, so there's number four I'll see you guys in a little bit all right. It's currently the, it's currently the next day. That's why it's so bright in here. Natural light. Look outside. Awful outside. I walked outside today to go take another final and it was so windy. It almost blew me over. Not even kidding, but we have a little change of plans here. My buddy cannot play 2k with me tonight or he couldn't last night either. So I waited till tomorrow to finish off the video. Give you guys point number five or lesson number five uh, that I've learned throughout this year. And then we're gonna get into some Call of Duty Warzone action with two of my friends who are gonna be playing trios, but in squads. So fifth lesson I learned this year and probably the most important, trusting God's plan. But what I mean in like trusting God's plan is like stop trying to take control of things that you have no control of and trust in the higher power. Uh, I know a lot of people don't like to hear that, but honestly, it's changed my life for the better. And I, I highly encourage you to look inside yourself and like try and find God. Um, a lot of people think of God as like some man in the clouds, but that's not really how I see it. If you want to learn more about it, feel free to text me uh, on Snapchat or Instagram or something. I can for sure go into more detail. But for now, I'm just saying that like, Trust in his plan and what he has planned for you. Um, th the things that happen in your life are for a reason and you can either take that in one or two ways. You can either make it a positive thing or a negative thing. Honestly, try and make the positives out of everything and you'll find yourself way ahead of the others in your life. For me, uh, I was lost these last few months uh, not knowing what to do. Obviously, I couldn't do anything. So finding God and just like knowing that he's there and he loves me and all that good stuff kind of helped me get through the last six months. Sure, it's not the most ideal way. I would have liked him to go about it, um, like trying to make me slow down and stuff. Uh, I would have preferred a different way, but of course he does this uh, for a reason and honestly, I think it was for the best. It really made me slow down and just like, enjoy the moments, enjoy the present. And uh, yeah, just, it's been amazing coming out of it. Uh, really not taking things for granted anymore for what I have. And it's helped me become a better person as well. So I really hope you guys can find God in your life too. Uh, but other than that, if you do want more information about that stuff, that kind of stuff, growing your faith, uh, you can for sure hit me up and I'd be happy to talk to you about it. But for now, to end the video, we got some war zone action with two of my friends. We're gonna be getting into it. Hopefully we can get a dub. We got a few the other day. So yeah, I'm gonna set up the camera and we'll get rolling. Let's go.
All right, everybody, that is the end of the video. Hopefully it's not too long by the time I edit it. I'm hoping it's below 20 minutes, but if it's not... If you made it all the way through, leave a comment and a like. Make sure you smash the subscribe button. We're still on the road to 200. Uh, obviously, we probably would have got there if I didn't have heart issues, but um, yeah, let's still try and get there by the end of the month. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Should be coming up real quick, so let's get it.